Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to the mo uh Welcome back to the Morpher Project, everybody. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm back. All right. Um, so um, today I actually wanted to make sure that I have this thing thing up and running properly. So, uh, today we're gonna be doing until right over here. Yeah, this place right here is a good start to do. Um. Sorry about the black screen. <laughs> I ran a little bit out of time. But uh, no worries there. Mm. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be working on that. We're going to make this thing up and running properly. And then uh, once that is done, um, I will call it a day. So, yeah. Um, mm. It's... So yeah, um, I hope everybody had a lovely day today, because here it was actually constantly raining most of the time, and it was like, actually like, Oh boy, it's raining again! I can't wait for more rain to come! Lily, it was only that. It was only rain. It got everywhere. Uh, ah, here you go. We need to be over here then. Yes, we do. Alright. So... We're gonna make today, we're gonna make this bad boy up and running properly, so we have this tray here, and we're gonna make it until right over here with the tray. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, of course, you know, this tree is a big, this tree is the biggest boy of ever, and uh, we're gonna make sure that this tree is a little bit less big. Um, so yeah. Hmm. So what we first need to do is actually creating the tree trunk again. So we're making the tree trunk big chunky boy. And then once the chunky boy is going downwards, we know how this is working. And then once that is done, we can then move on. So there you go. We have the trunk. Big tree. Standing not fully stable, as all trees do, you know, they're not always going straight up. It's a very retarded move of trees. They like to, they like to wankle a bit. And then we're gonna go right over here, we're gonna remove the bit that we just created. So we don't leave any drawing marks behind. Alright. Um, now we're gonna be starting here up and down, and then we're gonna add that into. Um, so yeah. Today was actually a very, uh, not confusing day, but a bit, bit of a hack, no, not a bit of a hack today, but it was like raining all day long, and I was like, really tired at the end, because I actually had to read, no, actually, I had to learn 30 pages today. I came 30 pages in, and I did some work on the, on my part, on my part. So, I'm hoping that, you know, once we're doing this properly, you know, I can uh, try to do my very best here. I mean, I could, and I hope so, but the main the main issue here is that, you know, all the stuff that I do is uh, uh, quite hard. Um, so, yeah. So... The main issue here is that I don't know where to go from here. Do I need to put the aim points in there? Probably. So we're gonna make a new line. We're gonna make a new layer just in case of this uh, switcheroo screw up. Um, so we're gonna create this tree. We're gonna make sure that this tree is a bit big. So we need to make sure that we have some leeway here. You know, you want to create this tree, so therefore, you know, you need to make the tree a little bit looking like a tree instead of, you know, stupid-ass garbage tree. So, now you can already see that, yeah, there are some la la layers here and there that needs to be filled. Stuff to be created. And we're just going to create this sketchy tree bit. So it looks nice. It feels a bit nice. So we have, like, a, uh, an idea where the hell we need to try it. So yeah, I like how trees work normally, you know, they're, they're big, huge, 
unmovable unless they are badly rooted. And all of this, you know, comes into play. I mean, if you have a big tree and you're not paying attention upon what the tree does, it's, uh, it's quite a problem most of the times, because if you have like a tree that is like a big tree and you have like a major problem in the roots, uh, when a storm comes in, it actually gets knocked over and then it dies, so yeah. Those trees can normally not be saved, but you know, then you at least know what the hell happened to that tree. Like, that tree, tree was huge! Why did it fall down that easily? And then it's like, well, because to big trees catch, fo uh, get, ca uh, catch a lot of wind. Yes, but still, how did it got, how did it got to that point where it just fell over and just tumbled? And uh, yeah, I, I mean, really, a lot of a lot of that happens most of the time. Uh, so yeah, trees, big old-fashioned trees and uh, tiny trees. Most most trees don't don't get that problem that they fall over, but uh, if they have badly rooted or their roots are not fully rooted in, it's a uh, it's a major problem. Um. Trees are also very important because if you remove trees in, from the soil, the soil gets soft. So if you have like a big giant mountain area where you have like lots of trees, don't remove those trees. Don't be don't be a stupid. Don't be a stupid. Because those trees are actually the one thing that is holding you down. Oh well, that's the one thing that's holding the mountain down from collapsing your village. And I mean like not just collapsing it, just crushing it underneath all the rubble. That's why, you know, heavy rainfall is very dangerous in mountain areas, because technically, the heavy rainfall creates soft soil. Therefore, you know, badly rooted uh, badly rooted trees will get loose. And it, since that the trees will get loose, that means that if too much trees are falling loose, then yeah, um, that mountain over there, that's gonna be tumbling down upon your lovely village made out of stone or wood. I would say the wood village, the wooden village, would not stand a chance. The stone village, maybe a lot of property damage, but could be survivable. Well, well, it's it's crushing a car into a building, so yes, but still, it's not not very advisable. So yeah, um, trees very important. Make you breed. Make you able to breed oxygen. Oxygen, oxygen, yes, oxygen. Yeah. So yeah, trees are very important, and uh, I really like trees. And that's why you always need to look for trees when you're looking at them. It's like, how do they function? What what kind of box do they have? What what kind of structure does this tree have while be busy doing the stuff? I mean, honestly, the amount of stuff that has happened is uh, not fully functional, but I hope it did work. So yeah. Um let's see. So why does this all work like this? Um I mean all these trees are looking all the same, and that's their, that's the fall of the tree itself. But we should definitely implement some more variety in these lines and in in this drawing. Because you know, if we are creating this big giant tree trunk, well, block. Jeez, mm -hmm. head spinning, great, lovely. Um, so yeah, if the tree if the tree is like a big giant uh, a lovely little if the tree is like a big giant thing to draw and then you know you inc and then you create like these mediocre changes to it, it's like oh man this tree looks like very basic well those trees are supposed to be in the background you don't need to you don't need very detailed trees in the in the foreground but. Trees in the foreground needs to be a little bit more detailed than just, you know, a big giant trunk that doesn't do anything. Also, why is this here? Uh, I wonder. But, oh, nonetheless, we're, we're, we will find out. We will find out later on, once we start with the next one. Then we're going to remove the parts that need to be not here. Alright, so, um, um, how and what? 
Uh, is this a thing? Probably. There you go. So yeah. How much of is this true? Uh -huh. There you go. So, ugh, it's such a big tree pot here and there. Trees. I wonder when the trees are going to take a break or something like that, you know? Big trees, big emotions. I wonder. You know, big trees can live for like, what? 600 years? 800 years, probably? Yeah, I believe so. It's not like, you know, birds or animals. Trees can actually live quite long. All right. Now we have done that. We have connected this part with that, and then we can add this to here, and then up a link there. Right. Now I've removed this. And we add the bits here and there, and that should be fine. So if we now find the part that we need, which is uh Yes, this part. And if we now add this to it, that should be be able to show us how this looks. We're just gonna paint it a bit. Don't mind me. I do need to change a bit here in the mall fork it seems. I have some things I need to remove, but I'll do that on a different layer. On a different way of doing it, at least, you know, not ruining it the whole damn thing. Because I don't want to ruin the drawing. Mm. Alright. Good, good, good. Now we have this, and now we can. Uh, is this it? No. Ah, okay, well, it's a little bit high. It's this one, right? What's this one? No, a bit higher. Ah, oh, that thing is way down. That thing is way, 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 way. <laughs> no. Um. Control Z, not touching that. Thank you. Is it right here? Is it right here? No, is it right here? Yes. Sometimes I'm a bit confused there. Yeah? Oh, there you go. So, now we have done that, we can now go back into there, and we can select the thing that we have used the most. Luckily, uh, after the updates, it actually works well. 
So that's good. Sometimes the big chungus are the worst ideas. That's the main problem. You want to create this effect that always overlaps each other, and you don't want to make too much a big hassle when it comes to these big parts right here and there. You want the least amount of them, because they actually create the most problematic effects later on. And I mean, really, they're not too bad to have, but you need to make sure that you're limiting them to a certain amount, otherwise they uh, cause the whole tree to look a little bit out of shape. <laughs> That's the word, right? Out of shape and out of touch, probably. Well, anyway, um, we are busy, so that's good. Should we technically do this fully now? Yes. I will do fully the tree part, so that therefore I can see what I'm drawing. That might be a smart move here. Because you can see the bits here and there, which is honestly not bad, but, you know, we need to, we need to make sure that this tree looks nice. So therefore, you know, the whole tree needs to look nice. As you can see, if we leave too many gaps, the tree won't look like a tree, and therefore, you know, the tree is a bit ruined. Alright. Going back to that. Going back to... No, where is it now? There it is. No, that's the other part. This one. Yeah, there we go. Shabloom, shabloom. Should be able to get. Yes, all right. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, all right, I'm busy on this one. Yeah, we can use it. We can use it. It's it serves it serves quite nice things. We can create certain effects that I actually want. There you go. Big barchy buttons. Very important. Of course, not too many, but very important later on. Because if you carry too much, it's bad. If you carry too little, it's bad as well. You want to have that tree effect on it anyway. So, should be. Hmm. 
Hmm. That will actually work. Oh, nice. All right. Come on, come on, come on. I can do this. It's not too much of a problem, but there you go. Hmm. There you go. Oh boy. Uh, I'm not very good at this, aren't I? No, I am not. The main issue is that this is like a big chunky boy, and well, you know, we're working on we're working our way upwards. Of course, you know, the tree needs to be looking like a tree. Therefore, you know, we should definitely add some variety into the effects of straight lines and no straight lines, a little bit sketchiness, because it's it all it all will be amplified uh, amplified once uh, once we're creating the full damn thing. Let me just double check how much time we already in. 24 minutes. Alright, good. That's a decent amount of time. That means that we're actually uh, on a good schedule. And tomorrow we'll be finishing off the coloring and painting. Because I'm not into it for today. I'm actually quite exhausted. <laughs> If you didn't tell already, I'm like very, uh, very exhausted because of all the uh, information I actually had to goob up, glob up, glo glob up, glob up, glob, eh, drink up, there you go, better word. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, especially that. So yeah, we're trying to get this thing up and running properly and then tomorrow I will be working on my writing as well gonna be recording that probably yeah yep gonna need to do that so probably gonna be uh recording the writing and then you know in the midday i will be starting working on a new uh, facial expression for mina so therefore you know that's all good and dandy all right hmm So how much time? 
It's going to be past once I'm doing this. So, yeah. Right. Oh boy, so much time wasted on nothing but just doing the job. Alright, where do we want to have our big chunky again? Uh, we want to have the big chunky right here, that's a good place to go for. You don't always have to go the right way on these things anyway. It's better for a little bit of variety in the drawing itself, so therefore, you know, creating the image in a total picture. There you go, look at that. That's so much more variety in there. And only straight lines. Even though, you know, those lines are not there yet. It will create a far better drawing later on. And all these straight lines that everybody's talking about. I don't like straight lines too much. Oh boy. Ah, uh, jeez. So yeah. All this, you know, it's, it's all the same, but... Uh, Eventually, you know, once we add the lines to it and creating the big, you know, uh, placement of everything that we want, we can create a good old-fashioned drawing. Just take some time, just take some effort, and the more we do, the better it gets, so therefore, you know, we shouldn't be worried too much about it at all. So if we now close this out, we can see exactly what we did. Good. And this will separate all those. Now I need this one back again.
Yes. There you go. It's a lovely picture, doesn't it? Looking nicely already. So yeah. Creating kind of effects on the bark, creating effects in the bark itself, making sure that all the stuff is in there. It's quite important. We're almost there, we're almost there to close the gap. Jeez Louise. Took way too much. So not everywhere the bark is equal. That's also a thing about bark. It breaks off, it falls down, it makes good homes for birdie boys. Always great. So therefore you know it's actually quite nice to see all those things happening. So how to do this probably? I don't know. You know, it's a it's a tree. I, I I have no idea, I have no control over how to do properly with a tree, you know. Eh. 
well, how to do it properly with a tree, that sounds, well, that sounds not right, but how to not, uh, how to do a tree proper, there you go. Because the main issue with a tree is that it always shapes, twists and turns. A tree doesn't grow normally. A tree doesn't grow like, you know, oh no, it's a tree. No, 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 it can actually twist and turn. It moves well, well, it grows to the sun. That's why trees are so good. That's why plants are weak. Because plants, they might grow fast, but they don't grow long and sturdy. Causing them to fall once they reach a certain height. Yep. Alright. Now I'm gonna add some more uh, detail to this. Probably. Uh... Yeah, we can. We can now move this out of the way. You can see all the tree parts here. Here and there. We can just add some more. Oh, that will work. Alright, we're gonna save this bad boy. Then I'm gonna be calling it a day. Why am I calling it a day? Because it's Monday and I'm very tired. <laughs> learning is a lot of things. And learning is not good for the head. Nope, definitely not good for that. Especially when you look already like you already have been looking at the, at a screen for almost almost six hours. So, um, mm. yes. To no further ado, I hope you all enjoyed for today, and uh, thanks all for watching, and I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I want to wish you all a lovely day, and uh, bye. <laughs>